Let's be honest, Minecraft mobs are really bad. So I'm gonna be remaking them a lot more realistic. And with every new mob, the world will get more and more realistic. The first mob we're gonna start off with is gonna be a dolphin. And I kinda wanna turn this into like a really cool whale. Let's start deleting all the fins. We'll take out this big nose. Now I'm gonna move the tail all the way back. We'll start off with this blue head, and then we'll make an extra long blue body. We'll throw on one of the fins, and then we'll duplicate it to the other side. Now we gotta get this colored in nicely. We'll make the bottom this light color, and then we'll add the same coloring to the side. And I think that's a pretty decent start. And with a little bit of texturing, I think it looks pretty good. We'll add a blowhole to the top. Now let's make some eyes. And I think our new and improved dolphin slash whale looks pretty good. As you can see, this is the lowest resolution I could get Minecraft. The blocks aren't even real blocks. They're just white pieces with the names on it. Everything in this world is just so messed up and wrong. Like This is water. I'm inside of water. This is just cursed. But our first mob should fix us a little bit. We're gonna blow up this area with TNT. And now I think our whale has enough space. Let's put it down and see what we got. Oh my God. Well, this is definitely somewhat better than that other pack. Our whale definitely made it a lot better, but this world is so unrealistic. Like what even is the sun? My crosshair is just this weird block. Everything in the inventory is just so basic. We need to get this a lot better. But as for the whale, it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Now we're gonna go with everyone's favorite mob. We have to do the wolf. And I kinda wanna turn the wolf into a wiener dog. Let's make everything this brown. Let's start getting rid of these ears. And now we can start in our head. We'll plop on these two eyes. We'll build on our mouth. And now we can add on our nose. We'll throw in a couple ears. We'll add in a bit of detail. And then we'll just duplicate it to the other side. We'll start building up the neck. We'll throw on our body. We'll throw on the back piece. Now let's add a tail. We'll throw that piece on. The legs are pretty simple, and this is a pretty good start. I'm gonna make the ears a little darker. We'll also make the legs darker, and we'll add some light pieces to the body. Let's see how texturing does this one. And that's what it looks like adding a bit of noise. It might be slightly over textured, but you know what? I'm not a texturer. I feel like we need a couple white eyes. That looks pretty good. Now, hopefully our wolf can make the world look a little bit better because right now this is looking pretty awful. All right, let's put down our wolf and see how it turned out. I'm gonna smack him right next to this really weird pig. And let's see what we got. Oh, whoa. You know what? You're definitely over textured. If you guys love to call me out in the comments about over texturing, you're like, oh, you need to learn how to texture. Shut up. I know, I can't do it. I'm not talented enough, but it still turned out pretty good. The world's looking a lot different. The pig actually looks like a pig. The ground's a little wonk. The water is definitely weird. The lava just that, that does not look right in any way, shape or form. But hey, our dog did a good job of making the world a lot better. I'm pretty proud of this. And the world's only gonna get crazier and crazier. Now this should be the last mob before things start getting really crazy. We're gonna make this cave spider a lot better. We're gonna start by making the face a lot more 3D. And basically all we did was we pulled the major points out to make them a little more realistic. And if you're afraid of spiders, I am so sorry. Now for the most part, our neck's gonna stay the same, but it's gonna be a crucial anchor point for the rest of our body. We're gonna angle our body upwards, and then we're gonna add on a second layer to make it more 3D. We're gonna add a bunch of these little pieces from the face, and they're kind of just meant to be a little more disgusting on the body. I think it turned out pretty good. Now you know the legs have to be angled. We're gonna add on three parts to this. We'll attach this last part, and then we'll add that all around. And for the most part, our spider looks a lot more realistic. It's definitely extremely creepy, but it gets the job done. Now for our cave spider, I feel like it's only right that we do this inside a cave. We already see this looks really bad. Let's throw down our cave spider and see what we got. Oh my God. I look at the spider in a second, but this looks a lot different. All these blocks are definitely more detailed. I mean, just look at the little grass. Even the stone is just a lot better. The lava is very uncomfortable and it looks way too detailed to be lava. Look at the creeper. Even the zombie just has more texture on it. And look at this guy. Oh, this is insane. Oh, this case spider is so freaky. This is just so weird. This is getting way, way too real. I think we did a good job on the cave spider. It definitely has a more of a spider feeling to it. What? What is wrong with this one? But I definitely think we did a good job on it. Let's go ahead and see what our next mob gives us. This is that point in the video where I have to ask you guys to subscribe. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that right now. We are pushing to 100,000 at the end of the summer. So if you're part of the first OGs, go ahead and subscribe. Hope you're enjoying the video. Catch y'all there. Now, this is where things should start getting really crazy. The Ravager is just kind of ugly in my opinion, but I kind of want to turn into a different animal. I'm thinking this thing has the perfect shape to be an ox. So let's get to work on the head. First, we'll get rid of this nose. We'll color the head in brown, and then we'll make the horns this lighter color. We'll give the horns a little bit of a shape. I'm thinking these two look a little good. We'll also give the mouth a little bit of color. We'll make part of the body a lighter color, and then we'll give the legs good shape. 
Now we have to make this thing look a lot nicer. We'll start making up the eyes. I think our mouth turned out pretty good. Now we need to texture this thing up. And I think that's pretty decent. I really like the eyes. They're not too complicated, but they look good to me. I kind of forgot, do oxes have tails? You know what? It doesn't even matter. Let's just load this up. Now our world is starting to look a lot better, but there's still a few levels left. Hopefully our ox or ravager makes the world look a ton better. Oh my goodness. Dude, our world looks way too real. Look at the water. This just like hurts my eyes to look at. Look at the sand and the grass. It's just so textured. This world just does not feel real for Minecraft. Let's actually go look at the mob we made since I kind of just ignored it. Why does it walk so slow? Are all Ravagers this slow? It definitely looks pretty good. I think it almost, it doesn't fit this world though. Like this is already looking so realistic. It almost doesn't even blend in. Okay, stop looking at me. I'm sorry, I, I did not mean it. It's just so slow. Why, why does it move so slow? Even if you like, you hit it. What happens if I go into survival? It's still, oh, it's so fast now. What in the world? Why is it so fast now? Dude, it was so slow and now it's just a speed demon. Oh my God, this skeleton is just sniping me in the, okay, sure. Now I really wanted to do a mob I have not seen a lot. I have not seen a lot of people make the phantom better. So let's go ahead and do that. And this being the last mob, it's about to be really insane. We'll start off with just our head like normal. We're gonna start giving it a more 3D texture feel. We'll throw in a couple spine plates. And then we're gonna make the head a little more sharp at the end. That's looking pretty good so far. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the front of the face. And this is already looking a lot different than our normal phantom. We'll give the bottom jaw some texture. Now let's start working on the wings. We're gonna make all the different colors a little more 3D. This looks pretty decent to me. Now let's start making the wing more curved. We'll add on the connecting piece. We'll duplicate it to make it more, more 3D. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. As for the body, we're gonna keep the same 3D look. And we'll do the same thing all the way down to the tail. I think our Phantom is looking a lot more realistic than it usually does. Let's go ahead and load this up into the game. Now, this is our last mob, so it better turn out really good. The world is also gonna take on a massive change. Oh my, what happened to the head? My Phantom is literally missing a head. Well, this definitely does look a lot more realistic. I don't have the slightest clue why my Phantoms have no head. This is just one of the weirdest things I have seen. But this texture is just insane. I guess since it's broke, we gotta do another one. Now for the last one, we're gonna make this derpy squid a lot better. Let's start by giving the head a better shape. We'll give the tentacles some definition. We'll make some better eyes. We have made ourselves a little bit better of a squid. Now I made it a little bit better just because I don't know what happened to the last one. So hopefully this can fix it completely. And now we're reset to one of the ugliest textures. Hopefully our squid can save us. If you made it this far in the video, make sure to subscribe. You have three, two, one. Uh, what's going on? This is definitely way too realistic. I need to end this video before something crazy goes on. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like it. If the video passes 10,000 likes, I'll release on the pack inside of my Discord. Here's this week's amazing fan art, and if you want to submit something just like this, go to the Discord server and put in your best artwork. Now let's go ahead and end this video before something crazy happens.